Ah, welcome back to Everyday Race. This video is going to be for a 97 and older Ford Rangers. Now, if you got one of these, you probably have this problem. Let me show you. That's right. You got a sloppy steering. So, what I mean by that is you turn the steering wheel, but the truck doesn't turn. It has a small delay, so it feels like the steering wheel almost isn't connected to the wheels now you probably went on facebook and asked all the uh, facebook experts uh how to fix it and you were pretty much told oh you're gonna need a rack and premium replace it's like eight thousand dollars so you pretty much just gotta sell your truck and tell everybody that uh, it's a good truck but that might not be the case what if I told you you could actually fix the problem for free? That's right. I said it. I said the magic word. Free. So let me let me show you exactly how to fix this. Alright, so step one would be to open the hood and locate the gearbox. Which would be right down there. And that right there would be the adjusting screw and that's what you're going to use to adjust i call it preload on the gears as the time goes by distance between gears increases due to wear and with that screw you'll be able to uh, push them back in and get rid of the slop but before you mess with this there are a few other things that you have to check and let me show you Now first, you have to make sure Now first, you need to get under the truck and make sure that uh, all the suspension components are in good shape such as outer tie right ends which is one right over there you can move it around, make sure it's tight there's one on the other side and we have two more joints one hooked up to the gearbox make sure it's tight and that's called the drag link and then there's another one right down here if all that is tight along with the nut over there then you need to check one more thing before you can start adjusting the gearbox the reason you have to do this is because if you've got any wore out steering components there's no amount of adjustment to the gearbox is going to uh, fix the slop because the slop would be due to a uh, wore out suspension component and not the gearbox so let's move to the second thing that you have to check before you touch that adjusting screw all right, so it's easier for you to see. I've got two gearboxes out of the 94 truck. And that's a manual gearbox. You can see it's a smaller one in size. And this one's out of a 96 Ford Ranger. And it's a power steering gearbox. It's bigger in size and it's got power steering hoses going to it. So the second thing you have to check is the rag joint and that's hooked up to your steering right here this is what I call input shaft on the gearbox and this is the output shaft so this is hooked up to the uh, drag link which I what I just showed you under the truck and this is where the steering wheel shaft connects to so first thing you have to do is undo this boot it's usually hooked up to one of the lines right here I already got it disconnected it's Kind of a pain in the truck but it's doable so all you have to do is just push it all the way forward and that's going to give you a nice view of this rubber rag joint there we go now if yours is in good working order it's going to look just like this see these uh, limiting straps there's one and there's two once this rag joint fails 
the metal pieces are going to be right against it. So these straps keep the whole thing from coming out if it fails. So if yours is pretty firm and it's not riding on the straps, that means your steering rack joint is good. And so you can move on to adjusting the gearbox. So first thing you have to find out what size you have. For example, this manual gearbox uses a 14 millimeter lock nut. This is the lock nut that keeps uh, the adjusting screw from backing out or moving around. And the adjusting screw has a slot for a flathead screwdriver. Now this power gearbox has a bigger lock nut, which is a 5 8 and the adjusting screw does not use a flathead screwdriver. It uses a hex bit. For example, this one's a 3 16 So all you have to do is find the one that fits in there real tight. And there you have it. And uh, you could be either way around. For example, on my 95 Ranger, my locking nut is 5 8 so it's got the bigger lock nut. It's got a power gearbox. But the adjustment screw doesn't look like that. It looks just like this one. So, first thing you have to do is loosen up the lug nut. But before that, let me show you. This is what the problem is. This is why you have slop. Boom. You can, you can hear it. There's play. As you can see, input shaft is not moving but the output shaft is moving so all you have to do is just loosen up the lug nut by turning it counterclockwise so this way second thing you have to do is install the tool just like that now what i recommend is only moving by 180 degrees at a time so let me let me hold the adjusting screw with my foot and then all you have to do is just move it 180 degrees and then you turn the locking nut so it's so it's tight see next thing you need to do is get in your truck and go for a drive and see what it feels like if the slop gotten better that means you're moving in the right direction but if the steering wheel if the steering got really tight especially when you're in the center that probably means that the gearbox is uh worn out and uh you won't be able to adjust it i'll show you that's exactly the problem with this one so Drove the truck with this gearbox and there's just slightly more slop. So you come back, loosen up the lug nut and go another 180 degrees. Then lock the lug nut and check for slop. See the slop is gone. Oh, perfect. So once again, you need to get in the truck and go for a drive. If the slop is gone, then you're good to go. Now let's go and let me show you what happens if your gearbox is too far gone. So, as you can see, there's no slop. But as you turn the steering wheel to the right or left the slop comes back see how it's moving and what happens when you try to center the steering it gets real tight so it gets real hard to turn and the slop disappears so if we loosen up the lug nut <coughs> and back out the adjustment screw it'll be easier to turn but still if your gearbox has slop 
when the wheels are turned but it has no slop when the wheels are straight that means your gearbox is too far gone and unfortunately you're gonna have to either rebuild it or replace it so as you can see this one's good to go this one's working beautifully all we need is just a small amount of adjustment but this one that I need to rebuild all right so let me go over everything that I just said in this video so remember step one check the steering components check the tie rod ends check the drag link even check the bolt joints if any of those parts are faulty do not try to adjust the gearbox fix the problem if you don't know how to do it look it up on YouTube ask for help there is nothing wrong for asking uh, for somebody else's help so once you get that taken care of move to step number two make sure the steering shaft um, rag joint is in good working order pull up the sleeve check out the uh, rag joint make sure it's all in one piece and it's pliable um, that's in good work in order great move to adjusting screw on the gearbox right over there make small adjustments 90 degrees 180 degrees write it down after you make small adjustment go for a five minute drive see how it feels make left turns make right turns all the way if at any point your string will start getting tighter in some spots stop what you're doing come back look how much adjustment you made turn it back and leave it at that unfortunately your gearbox is faulty and you can no longer adjust it so the only thing you can do is to replace it or rebuild it start looking for a new one rebuilt one or rebuild kit for it and uh, hopefully that's not going to be the case for you it is a case for me I, uh, I'm gonna have to rebuild or my manual gearbox but hopefully that's gonna be it for you it's usually just a small adjustment and uh, you'll be doing great just like I'm doing I just came back from the drive on my truck after making all the adjustments and the steering feels great so this gearbox in this truck is in good work and order so on that note have a good day